Good morning, everybody. This is Tuesday with Tuesday's Fun Finds. I hope you're having a fantastic morning, and this is part two um, of a two-part um, unboxing of a Goodwill blue box. Um, so yesterday morning, we had the necklaces and rings, and today we are going to finish up with pendants, brooches, bracelets, and earrings. So, um, if you're interested in anything in yesterday in today's video, or any video rather, you can email me at TuesdaysFunFinds at gmail.com. Um, with the jewelry lots that we go through or the unboxings, um, items are available um, for the price that's listed on the screen. And then um, you also need to pay the $5 flat rate up to one pound. Um, if you're interested, you email me. I send you back an invoice using PayPal. That will include the cost of the item plus the shipping cost. Oh, and before I forget, um, everything from yesterday's video and today's video that is going to be put into a craft lot, um, those items will also be avail available at the end of this video. Um, so everything that I put into the craft lot will be available to anyone if they're interested in it. And let's get started. All right, so let's start off with the bracelets. I'm just gonna put them all out here. Um, okay, let's start off with this one. So this bracelet, okay, these are glass beads with like a floral design on them. Um, wooden bead, a little bit like a shell bead with some silver tone beads. That's a cute bracelet. The stretch is pretty good. I like that one. Um, oh, um, oh. This says, what does this say? Oh boy. Well, I'm not sure what that says. This is marked sterling. I can't read what it says below that. Hmm, let's test it. any orange in there huh well it's really neat though it's heavy I just wonder why hmm. well I really like this bracelet um, it does not seem to be silver um, but it's cute I like it oh let's measure it We'll start at the sterling. And then we will end at the word sterling. So we're going to stay right here. So that was an 8 inch bracelet. Really cute. Okay, I like that. Let's see. Ooh, okay, let's get this out of the way. This is an Alex and Ani that's got some wear to it. If anybody's interested in that to add to their collection, it looks like it's a C. Um, uh, a really bad stretch silver tone and rhinestone bracelet that's gonna go into the craft lot. Okay, let's see here. This bracelet, silver tone, these pink little stones, that's gonna go into craft. Um, we've got two 
plastic, looks like children's sizes, very small, um, with cute little pink little rhinestones and nose. Those are gonna go into the craft lot. Um, this one was not magnetic, but I did test it. It's um, really tarnished um, and it was not um, silver. Um, this is gonna go into craft. Um, and then this bracelet is gorgeous. Um, it's gold tone with like these emerald, what does it say? Coach, this is a coach bracelet. I did not realize that earlier when I was dividing things up. So we've got some gorgeous green, emerald green rhinestones. This is great. Um, let's see here, the charm. Oh good, all the rhinestones are still in there. Emerald green. I'm so excited. Let's measure it. Um, let's see, we're going to measure it from where the word coach starts. Okay, so that's a seven and a half. Beautiful bracelet. Excited to find that in this blue box. Cute. Okay. And then I did see this beauty and was very excited to get to it. So Alexis the Tar. pink. Um, I've never found a this type of bracelet or this um, brand. So when I seen it, I was very excited. Awesome find. So it starts off thinner and then gets wider. Beautiful pink, excellent condition. Let's get a measurement. So that's an eight inch bracelet. Gorgeous. Awesome find. Okay, let's move on to some pendants. Let's see here, we'll start off. This one's gonna go into craft. Somebody can do something with that. Um, there's these two charms. One is a butterfly, lightweight, seems like it would probably be plastic. And then this cute little gold tone turtle, those are both gonna go into craft. Um, there's this pendant. I didn't find any markings on it. Got some um, different colored stones here. That's gonna go into craft. This cute little um, four leaf clover, that's gonna go into the craft lot as well. The craft lot will be available at the end of this video if anyone's interested in it. Um, there's this cute little pendant, this faux stone. It's kind of lighter weight. I mean, it has a little bit of weight to it, but it's still, I don't think anything that's um, sellable so this is going to go into the craft lot as well and then lastly we do have this awesome I believe this is vintage and the reason I say that is because of the brand name that's on the back or the maker's mark and it says Les Bernard Inc. Um, I did look this up and they are resellable so this one um, it's pretty cool. I did test this. Um, this is not any 
precious stone. Cute. Maybe somebody can add that to their collection. Okay, and then we did find this bracelet. Forgot about it actually until I just seen it. Um, so I believe that this <laughs> is a bracelet. If I can, well, I'm gonna lay it out. So this would be, <clears throat> this would go around the um, wrist and then this then would go around the finger. Let me see if I can get it on. I can't get it closed, but at least you have the idea. So a bracelet, and then this would go around the finger. Cute. Okay, let me pull out the brooches. We'll start with this one. This one's missing some rhinestones. They may be in the rhinestone baggie. Um, that's going to go into the craft lot. There may be two or three of them in here that would go into these three spots. That's a cute brooch that's going to go into craft. This next brooch is not marked. measurement so we'll say probably two and a half inches unmarked very cool this cute little brooch is um, plastic very lightweight but it's a cute little heart I'm gonna put that in the craft lot This next brooch is cute, has a little faux pearl in there. Um, again, this is not marked, or at least not that I've seen. Let me get a quick measurement for you. This, yeah, inch and a half. Magnetic. Cute. This brooch. Cute faux pearl, gold tone. Now this says sterling on here. I'm not sure if it is or not. Um, let's get a measurement on that one. Yeah, I'd say an inch. Cute brooch. There is this one. Look at this fun hair. <laughs> I didn't see any markings on this one either. We'll go ahead and measure the height. Oh, I have it backwards of me. Yeah. We'll measure the height of this brooch. And it's about two and a half inches tall. Cute. And then lastly, the last brooch is a Monet. Gold tone. Very clean, great condition. I'm gonna measure that one, and that one's also about an inch and a half. All right, so next, let me pull out the earrings. Okay, guys, so now we're going to finish up with the earrings. We have a lot of cute sets, um, and I think we're just going to make these $2 each. That way it makes it easier. Um, let's see here. So this set, I think it had, they have everything. Oh, we have a... Um, um, this is a, hello, what is this? Fish hook that's a little bent. Um, so we'll put these in craft. We have this set, really cute. The fish hooks look 
fine. Adorable. Um, let's see, this next set, it's got like an antique look. Let's check the fish hooks. They look to be okay. All right. Let's see, this set. They're hard to hold on to, I'm sorry. Okay. Adorable, $2. Uh, let's see here. This set, fish hook. Oh, it looks like we're missing a rhinestone here. That's probably in the little baggie. I bet you that's probably it right there. So these are gonna go into craft. Um, we have this set. All the rhinestones look like they're there. Cute. These are adorable. I like these a lot. Cute. Um, we've got this set. These cute little beads on there. Cute. Two dollars. We have this set. Very cute. Two dollars. This set, hammered, $2. These are cute too, I like these. They're like a mint, mint green. Adorable, $2. These little faux pearls, $2. <clears throat> These are cute. I like those. Two dollars. These are fun. I like those too. Lightweight, very light. These are very cute. Peach, kind of pink peach. Very cute, two dollars. Look at these, woo, these are some statement earrings. That's for sure. <laughs> these are like a green. Cute, two dollars. A lot of earrings in this good little blue box, that's for sure. These statement earrings. Woo, look at them sheen. And these are all in really nice condition, you guys. Clean. These um, faux pink pearl earrings. Silver tone, cute. Um, and I just noticed, I think this one's got a missing stone on the bottom. So this set is gonna go into the craft box. And then there's these. I think it oh, looks like all the stones are there. Very cute. Two dollars. Look at these. Woo! And it looks like all the rhinestones are there. Two dollars. show the backs two dollars now I did look to see if these were marked these are clip-ons 
um, and I, not on this one, but on the other one, I did pull back the little padding to see if there was a mark on there and I didn't see anything. Um, so these are clip-ons and we'll do these for $2 as well. So pretty. Um, now these ones, I don't think I'm gonna sell for $2 because they are marked. Carol, Carol Lee. These are clip-ons and I will ask, we'll do $5 for these clip-ons. Really cute, excellent condition. They almost got an, a little bit of a um, pearl essence to them, like mother of pearl-ish-esque. <laughs> Uh, really cute. All right, and then everything else I'm gonna pull over. Everything else does not is the only is a single earring. What am I trying to say? Say what I'm trying to say. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, there were no matches for these. This was so cute. I wish that had its match. There's this. Uh, this was really cute too. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a match. This um, is marked uh, J. Crew. Fortunately, it, it's only a single earring. There's this one. This one was really cute. Oops. Let me put these in the craft. Get my hand empty. These are all single earrings with no match. Um, this actually feels cold to the touch. I did check for magnetic pull on this and um, it's, it's not a precious metal, but um, this may be a dyed halite, but it is cold. Um, this actually went with that necklace that's in there, but there's no other match to it. There's a wooden, this flower. These are all gonna go in there. Here is a little toggle clasp that's gonna go into craft. There are these four earrings that maybe should have something that hooks onto them. Um, I'm just gonna put these all in craft. And then these did not have a magnetic pull. These are just fish hooks. These will go into um, the craft lot as well. Okay, so this is going to be the craft lot that will be available to you guys if someone's interested in it. Um, it's everything from yesterday's video and today's video, along with some loose rhinestones that may go to some of these pieces. I'll put that together. Um, I'm gonna ask $5 for that bag plus shipping, which I would say would be anywhere, depending on where you live, anywhere between five to $8 maybe. Um, so thank you so much for joining me today. If you're interested in anything, you can email me at TuesdaysFunFinds at gmail.com. Um, the cost of the, I'll send you an invoice with the cost of the item along with the $5 flat rate shipping, except for this, um, because that'll probably be maybe over a pound or two. Um, and then of course, please, uh, subscribe, like, comment, uh, click the bell. That's always helpful for me and my channel. And of course, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye everybody.